In this lesson, I'm going to show you some of the books that got me really interested in learning colors and using colors. So these are the books that inspire me. If you can learn just a bit from these books, it's going to improve the quality of your work by lips and bounds. These are the books I want to show you. This is the Watercolor Artist Guide to Exceptional Color by Jane Hart. And this is Exploring Color Workshop by Nita Leyland. Making Color Sing by Jean Doby. Color Choices, Making Color Sense Out of Color Theory by Stephen Quiller. And lastly, The Urban Sketching Handbook, Working with Color by Shari Blakov. Let me start with this book first. This is probably the first book that got me really interested in watercolor. This was published in 2007 and unfortunately it's out of print. However, the artist Jane Hart, she does provide the PDF ebook available for sale on her website. And this is one of the books that I highly recommend. So this book talks about the pigment properties, the characteristics, color schemes, color harmony, color choices, basically anything and everything relating to watercolor and color mixing, you can find it in this book. So for example, here it talks about how you can actually read the information on a tube of watercolor paint. This talks about basic color mixing theory, how to use the color wheel, pigment properties. And there are a lot of beautiful examples in this book, contributed not only by Jane Hart, but also by artists all over the world. These are the different color palettes. Beautiful examples in this book. So if you can um, definitely get the PDF ebook. I've owned this book for more than 10 years and this is a book that I still refer to uh, once in a while just to get inspiration, just to get ideas on using and mixing colors. So these are some color schemes, analogous color palette, complementary palettes. And towards the back, we have more uh, detailed examples and analysis on watercolor paintings. If you prefer a physical book, this is a good alternative to Jane Hart's book. This is Exploring Color Workshop with new exercises, lessons, and demonstrations. This is by Nita Leyden. The subject matter in this book is kind of similar to Jane Hart's book, except with this book, you get Nita Leyden's personal artistic interpretation on color theory, color usage, color mixing. Many artists can publish books on color mixing, color theory, but each artist will bring along with his or her interpretation on using colors. So this book also covers the basic fundamentals on colors. This book actually covers more on watercolor but it also talks about other media as well. So here are these few pages, um, they talk about the uh, basics like hue, value, intensity. These are on, these few pages are on the characteristics, on pigment. And there are many beautiful examples in this book as well. This is one of the books that I pick off my shelf to refer to quite often as well. There are some exercises you can follow along, step-by-step -step exercises. So these few pages talk about um, color system or color schemes. And these few pages talk about the limited color palette. There are eight examples here.
this is definitely one of the books that I highly recommend as well I just love this book If you want a book that talks more about the technicalities, the techniques on using colors, this is probably the one I will recommend. This is Color Choices, Making Color Sense Out of Color Theory by Stephen Quiller. This book is for intermediate artists. So you do need to know basic color mixing techniques in order to get the most out of this book. I mean, it does cover basic color mixing strategies and techniques, but the bulk of this book is actually on analyzing paintings. More specifically, it will tell you the colors that are or were used to create these paintings. Let me show you some step-by-step -step tutorials. So for example here, it will talk about the specific colors that were used. And in this case here, this is actually a forest scene. However, it's not just all greens. Here you can see it actually uses a lot of magenta and this painting still works. And this book will tell you why this still works. There are a lot of examples a lot of in-depth analysis into these examples. So this is really for intermediate artists. When I bought this book, when I read through some of the examples, um, some of the studies, I wasn't able to understand them back then. But now, uh, after several years, I can sort of understand what's uh, being written here. So it takes time to understand what's being thought here. And that's a good thing because this book ages really well. You can still refer to this book in the future and still get something out of the book. Stephen Quiller's book talks more about the technicalities and techniques on using colors. This book talks more about the mood, the feelings, the atmosphere that colors can create. This is Making Color Sing, Practical Lessons in Color Design by Jean Dobie. This is a book for intermediate artists as well. This book goes deep into the thought process on making a painting. It has basic color theory, but the selling point of this book is actually the in-depth analysis into paintings. And once again, many years ago when I bought the book, I wasn't really able to understand um, the text. And many years later now, when I read the book again, I'm beginning to understand a bit more on why and how the colors uh, were used. There are also a lot of beautiful examples in this book. This is also a book you can pick off the shelf to refer to, to get inspired, to get some inspiration. There is a lot of text and there are some quick checklists as well. So this checklist here tells you what can go wrong when it comes to mixing vibrant colors. Like why are your colors not vibrant? Why do they look muddy? This is also a really wonderful book. You can get this book together with Stephen Quiller's book. Um, the books are complimentary. As for Jane Hart's and Nita Layden's book, you can just get one of them. You don't have to get both. So let me just quickly flip through to show you some of the examples in this book. This book is really worth the money as well. And again, with this book, with the examples here, 
Jin Dobin also provides you with her own interpretation on the art pieces. I love this book as well. This last book is on how you can use colors when urban sketching or when sketching outdoors. The artist and author is Shari Blakov. She is an excellent artist at using colors and in this book you are going to see a lot of her beautiful watercolor sketches as well as sketches contributed by artists by other urban sketches. This book is a collection of brief tips on using colors on how you can sketch quickly it has some basic information on color on pigments characteristics of watercolor but it's not as in-depth compared to the earlier books that i have mentioned this book is as the title suggests a handbook A book designed for you to really learn something very quickly but if you really want to like truly understand how colors work and why they work um, I do recommend you check out Stefan Quiller's and Jin Dobie's book there are many beautiful examples as well and all the artists are listed so if you want to check out more work more art from the artists that are featured in this book you can just simply do a search on google and many of them have instagram pages so you can check out their sketches their paintings on instagram as well this is a book that i can recommend very easily Alright, to conclude, if you are a beginner trying to learn art or if you are a beginner learning watercolor, this is the book that I recommend, Exploring Color Workshop. If you don't mind a PDF ebook, this is the one that I recommend. You can just get either one, you don't have to get both. If you are an intermediate artist, these are the two books that I recommend. They really go in depth into the thought process on how to make an incredible, awesome painting. So these are all great books. I hope you can get inspired just by learning from them and looking at the beautiful examples.